this example, we're asked to calculate all applicable uh, stamps and taxes on the following situation. So there you have all the data, uh, the purchase price, earnest money, uh, recorded first mortgage assumed, second mortgage new, and uh, cash at closing. So the first thing we want to do is just remember the acronym uh, SIN, uh, and what it stands for is for calculating the stamp tax, the intangible tax, uh, and the note tax. Uh, so let's start out with calculating the uh, document stamp tax. Uh, so the document stamp tax is based on the sale price, and here you've noticed that we have a sale price of 85214 and it's based on $0.70 cents per 100 or a fraction thereof, and uh, we always want to go ahead and round up uh, when we do these calculations. So let's go ahead and uh, first... Uh, we're going to take the purchase price and divide it by 100. When we do so, we get uh, 852.14. We're going to go ahead and round that up to the nearest whole dollar, and that would be 853. Then we're going to go ahead and multiply that by the 70 cents, and that's going to give us a uh, document stamp tax of $597.10. And now the I uh, stands for uh, the intangible tax. Uh, and that tax uh, is based on new mortgages only. So here we have our new mortgage has $15,000. You're also going to use two meals, which is 0 .002, uh, a thousandths of a dollar. So we just take that amount and just multiply it by 0 .002, and that's going to give us our tangible tax of $30. Now, the last thing we're going to find is uh, the N, which is the note tax. Now, one thing you want to note about note tax, uh, this will apply to uh, new mortgage notes, uh, and it will also apply to assumable mortgages, okay, because these, they re would require a new note. So, uh, let's start first by uh, calculating the assumable mortgage. And notice here that's the $50,000. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and first begin by dividing that by 100. And then afterwards, we're going to multiply it by, uh, because on, on the note tax, it's uh, 35 cents per 100 or a fraction thereof. So uh, let's go ahead and do step one, which is divide by 100. So 50,000 divided by 100, that gives us 500. We're going to take that amount, 500, and multiply it by 35 cents. And that will give us our note tax for uh, this assumable mortgage. Uh, lastly, we want to go ahead and find the note tax for the new mortgage. And if we see here, we have... Um, the new mortgage is where you're $15,000, and again, it's still the same thing when you're finally calculating the note tax. It's going to be 0.35 or 35 cents per 100 or fraction thereof. So we're going to go ahead and uh, divide that $15,000 uh, divided by 100, and then take that amount and multiply it by 35 cents, and that will give us our note tax. And so all we need to do when we're, we're asked here in this problem was to calculate uh, the stamps and the taxes is take all of those different amounts and simply just add them all together. Uh, once we add them together, notice we're going to have a total there of uh, 
$4.60. And there you have it.